Hello, everyone. Welcome to TVU China. I'm Harry. Recently, I have found sometimes you will need a tool flexible. Some place is behind your easy hand reach. You can use an accessory called a flexible shaft to do this work. In fact, the Dreamer company is very famous for making this kind of tool. The more longer of the shaft, the more expensive it will cost. How about we make our own flexible shaft and very long? If you really want to do extensively, you can make the longest flexible shaft in the world. Maybe I have already made the longest flexible homemade shaft in the world just now. It is two meter long as a test. Also, it works very well. Don't you want to make it by yourself? Stick around. I will tell you how to make it. The key material is a stainless steel wire. Of course, it is not the normal wire, but also not so special. I brought it from Karma Home Center. The price is 155 Japanese yen for one meter. Or you can buy it from Amazon, about 55 Japanese yen for one meter. But it is not coated. The wire which I bought from Kama is coated by vinyl layer, which makes the surface very smooth. Usually, it is used for binding something or hanging something. Very strong and flexible. Let's check if it can work as a flexible wire. Since the diameter of the stainless steel wire is 1.5 mm, I make a single shaft to connect the Mabuchi DC motor to the wire. Can work as I expect, but if you don't control it, then it will cause a mess. From this experiment, you can see the key point is to fix the wire with thumbs. I have bought a water gun as a toy. Inside it has a plastic pipe. This can be used as a fixing tool. Sorry, buddy, you must be sacrificed for great good. But don't worry, I will fix you later. Okay, let's see what a change can be made. It works great, as I expect. Okay, let's make it better. I use Fusion 360 to make some accessories to fix them together. This is the stainless steel wire. Outer diameter is 1.5 mm. This is the plastic pipe. The outer diameter is 3.0 mm. The inner diameter is 2.0 mm. If we can fix them without contact, it should be rotated very smooth. I use a shaft to fix the one side of the wire. The extension of the shaft will contact to a D5 port. The thread 5mm can just pass through a bearing, which the inner diameter is 5.0mm. The tube will be fixed with a tube holder and a tube clip. These parts will be fixed with bearing holder and the wire cover. 
which the one side will fix the bearing another will fix the tube holder these parts will be fixed with several nuts now the rotational force can pass through the wire to the bolt without any loss theoretically at the bolt side add several accessories to the pass through the force to the tool kit everything will be fine according to this concept if we have two of them the force can pass the wire to the tool kit without any loss of course theoretically okay let's check if it will work or not export all parts separately piece by piece using STL format open them with cooler for 3d printing since most of them are layout at the flat shape, I change them all to best printing configuration and save them as STL format again for easy printing without any adjustment. Print them all. My printing condition is listed as here. Material PLA. Bed temperature 60 degrees centigrade. Printing temperature 200 degrees centigrade. Layer height 0.2 mm. In field density 50%. Oh, without a support. Finally, I got this. Assemble them together. Take care of the sequence. Check if it works or not. Even only have one side, it works very well. Another side without this tool, it will cause some problems sometimes. If we have two of them, then it should be fine. Now, here is the challenge. If we change the plastic tube with a Teflon tube, which usually used for 3D printer filament injection. The inner diameter is 2.0 mm. The outer diameter is 4.0 mm. Just fit the stainless steel wire very well. I brought it from Amazon Japan. It is 2 meter long. I suppose there are no homemade flexible shaft at that length. Let's do it. In fact, the change in the design is very easy. Since the filament teflon tube already have a tube clip, I can escape that part. Only change the tube holder to fit the teflon tube format. Print the tube holder and assemble them together. One side is good, but another assembly I have found some difficulty. 
It is very difficult to fix the shaft which connects the wire to the board. In fact, if you use both sides, all of the parameters must be precise, especially the length of the wire, length of the Teflon tube, etc. OK, I can only change the design again. If we shorten the bearing holder, it should be OK. Change them and print out. Assemble them together. This time it works. Let's check if it works or not. Very nice. I have just made the longest flexible shaft in the world now. Not bad, right? That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And do me a favor. Give your comments and subscribe to our channel. Your support will always enjoy and encourage me. I have uploaded old STL file as linked below. If you are interested in building your flexible shaft, please try them. Hope you will have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the small bell so you will not miss updates. Tube your channel is waiting for you.